Hi, my name is Layla and I'm the owner and founder of Top Financial Agency and today I want to talk to you about the concept of infinite banking and OPM. Now you've probably heard of infinite banking. OPM is a similar strategy, the only difference is you're going to take a loan out from the bank instead of the insurance company itself. Now I'm going to give you an overview of all the benefits of infinite banking slash OPM and if any of these are important to you then this might be a strategy that you'll want to look into. Number one, tax-free income. Number two, this is good for you if you want to retire sooner. Number three, if you'd like immediate access to your money. And if you want your money to grow safely and be able to leave money behind for your beneficiaries. Now, if you'd like money that's creditor safe and it cannot be taken away from you, even in a lawsuit, it has a 0% floor and you have 100% market protection, meaning the principal and the gains can never be affected even if the stock market crashes. So let me explain this in a way that you might already be familiar with, and that's home equity line of credit. So first you might put some money down and then you buy a house. Then this house develops equity, and then you take out a line of credit, and then you can use that to live off of or maybe reinvest it into another property. So we're going to do the same thing, but instead of putting money into a house, we're going to put money into a permanent life insurance product. So that's going to bring the next question, which is why permanent life insurance? Life insurance is considered a tier one investment like gold, meaning that the money that you put in there has 0% risk of being affected in a stock market crash or any sort of a crash. Worst case is your policy will gain 0%, but it will never lose. And of course, it has a potential to gain. Now let's go over the five steps and how to make this strategy work. Number one, you are going to fund a permanent life insurance product annually. Depending on how much you put into this, you can get away with funding it for only two years out of your money, in other words, your reserves. Step two, your cash value is going to grow. Step three, you're going to take out a cash value line of credit, either from the bank, and that would be OPM using other people's money, or from the life insurance company itself. And that is the whole infinite banking strategy. So if we're gonna talk about OPM, what you're basically going to do is you're going to go to a bank and say, look, I have this much cash value in my policy. And then they are going to give you a loan. So what's the difference between using a bank or using the life insurance company? It really just goes down to interest rate. If you can get a lower interest rate on your loan from the bank, then go with the bank. If you can get a lower interest rate from your life insurance company itself, then use the life insurance company. Step four, you're going to use that loan to continue paying your life insurance. And that's why I said you can probably get away with just paying year one and year two from your reserves. Year three, you're going to take out the loan and you're going to use it to fund your life insurance. Step five, so you're going to take some of that money and like we said in step four, and you're going to continue to fund your policy annually. The rest of the money you could use as income to live or you could reinvest it into something that is going to give you interest. Now here you can invest it into real estate. You can invest it into maybe a high performing CD. Right now CDs are performing high. Or if you're into stocks, you can invest it into stocks. Maybe you might want to open up an indexed annuity and invest it in that. And since you're taking out loans and not dipping into the cash value, your cash value is continuing to grow. And it's what it's doing is called compound interest. And all you have to do is look up the power of compound interest and see what your money is really doing. And then when you're ready to retire, let's say 15 years or so, again, depending on how much money you're funding into this policy, you're gonna take out a loan from the life insurance company and allow the cash value in there to continue to grow. And of course, since loans aren't taxed, you don't have to pay any taxes on this loan that you're taking from the insurance company and you're going to use that as income to live. So your death benefit becomes collateral for the insurance company. You don't have to pay back the loan if you don't want to. And then when you pass away, the insurance company is going to take a portion of the death benefit to pay off their loan and the rest will go to your beneficiaries. 
Now take note of this. The death benefit is always going to be higher than the cash value. The cash value is always going to be higher than the amount that you're taking out as income, and the amount that you're using as income is always going to be higher than the money that you put in to your policy as your investment. If you think about it like this, when you put your money in the bank, and I mean like a checkings or a savings account, they're gonna take your money and they're going to give it out to other people as a loan. They're also going to take some of that money and they're going to invest it, but they're not giving you a high rate of return. They're giving you maybe 1% or if you have a higher yielding savings account, maybe about 4%. So what you're going to do instead with this infinite banking or OPM strategy is you're going to put money into insurance companies you're going to be able to draw out that money and take out a loan against your own money not pay any taxes on it use that money to reinvest into your policy or other investment vehicles since you are borrowing at a lower rate than what you're earning you always have a spread you always have a profit and then since you're taking that money and putting it into other investment vehicles that are also growing, you're dual purposing your money. You're growing it in two different ways, but you're also doing it using a loan. In other words, using other people's money. So questions that I get is, why would a bank do this? Why would a bank give you a loan? Well, when you get a loan from a bank, you have to pay interest. So number one, they're getting interest from you from the loan that you're taking out. But then also you could set it up so that when you pass away, part of the death benefit also goes to pay back the bank. So in other words, while you're alive, you can be taking out these loans, using them, growing your money, never paying back, and use your death benefit as collateral. If you have more questions or if you want to talk about your scenario, if you have maybe money sitting in the bank or if you already have cash value from a permanent policy that you have and you want to see if you can take advantage of this infinite banking OPM strategy, you can reach out to me directly on my website, which is topfinancialagency.com or I'll give you my cell phone, which is 909-248-4401. Reach out to me. I look forward to talking to you. Until next time, bye.